Well, hello, I'm back again with day two of my chef's plate. Tonight is an orange sesame shrimp with stir fried vegetables and rice. So here you can see are all the ingredients that you are gonna need for this recipe. Um, today, the produce looks better than yesterday, so that is good. And we have a nice bag of shrimp. I like the fact that they don't have tails on because that's always a pain, so that's wonderful. Uh, let's get started. So the first thing you do is you prepare your rice. That is like the first thing on the card. And I'm using my pressure cooker because I that's the way I make rice all the time. So I just used um, their, their rice and I have prepared it in my pressure cooker. Now the next thing to do is preparing the vegetables. It says to wash them all and get them ready. And then it wants you to slice the onions really thin. Um, it wants you to take the ends off of your peas but i probably won't do that like they want you to do that but i probably won't do that because it doesn't matter to me it's just me and then it wants me to juice and zest the orange so i'm going to get started here by um doing the onions really quickly and then i'm going to move on to doing the peppers probably and then I will do the orange zesting last and not least. So that's really pretty much what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know if you really wanna see how I slice up vegetables, but uh, there's the onion. So the next thing I'll, I'll do is the pepper. So I'll just show you how I do my pepper. You could do it any way you want. I just like put my knife around here, kind of take it like this and just pull off the top. Da, 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 da. And if there's anything in here, then I just shake it out. Shake it, baby. And then I'm just going to slice this up really quickly. And it says to do it in um, half inch pieces. So we're just going to do this really quickly. And we'll just do it like this. Not right, it's the right much prep work for this one, really. It seems like a lot of prep work at first, but then you really see um, how fast some of these jobs really go, and it's not really that big of a deal. Like some of them, I was just like, oh, this is a lot of work. But yesterday's meal ended up tasting good, and like I said, the produce today is a lot better. Like I said, I'm gonna skip doing the peas. You do you, you follow their recipe, and then I'm going to. First thing I'm gonna do is like zest some of this orange. It says you need to <sighs> zest orange and juice. So we'll zest it here first. So can you see that? You just wanna get, you don't wanna get the white part, you just wanna get the orange peel part of it. So look at that. Like, that's amazing. This must be where we're gonna get our orange flavor from this and the orange juice it's amazing so yeah we're just taking that zest right off of there and like the, it, you notice on fruit like especially oranges and grapefruits that it is the white part of it that the membrane i don't know if that's what it's called that is really bitter so that's why we try not to get that oh. So we've got a lot of the zest here. I think I'm pretty happy with the amount we got off of here. Looks good. Got it all. Got a nice amount. Perfect. So the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna juice our orange. And I'm gonna use like a, I'm gonna use a vintage, um, reamer juicer and just take that down there I'm just gonna get as much of this juice as we can there we go perfect always got the weirdest sounds when you juice so there we go we got most of this orange out see it's just hollow this is like a good juicer it's like glass and I just put it over a vintage bowl and it's got like a strainer in it. So 
you can strain out the seeds and pulp if you ended up getting any of those in there. Perfect. Once again, hollowed out. Okay, so there we have that. I'm just gonna see how it strains it out. It's perfect. Excellent. Okay. So after we have done that, it like says that we're going to cook the vegetables. So I'm going to get prepared for that and I'll be back. Okay, so we're going to make the sauce. This is the orange juice. It says to put in the bowl, the orange zest, which looks amazing. I want to get the rest off of this. There we go. And then we're going to add soy sauce. I know, shouldn't do that, but it didn't work anyways. There we go. We got the soy sauce packet in there. And then the rice vinegar, which they give you also. It's pretty cool how they have all these little packs, but it is a lot of waste, isn't it? Not the most environmentally friendly. And then the garlic puree, which is right here. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna squeeze that in there. That looks good. I love garlic. And then quarter cup of water, corn syrup. Okay. Hang on. Okay. A quarter cup of water. We got the quarter cup of water. And then we got our corn starch. They say corn syrup. I might have. What is cornstarch? So many little packets. And then we are putting in half a teaspoon of sugar. So just a tiny little bit of sugar. And now we're gonna mix this up. And then it says you can add salt and pepper to season. I think we're just gonna leave it like this to start. There we go, there's the sauce. Okay, so the next thing is, is we're gonna cook the vegetables. And it says to do it in oil, and it doesn't just, it just says oil, so I'm gonna use sesame oil, because that's what I like. I'm just gonna put some of that in my pan. And I love the flavor sesame oil gives things, so I'm hoping that that's what happens here. So we just need this to heat up to um, till the pan is hot and then we're going to add the peppers to this. So just give me a minute. Okay, it feels like the pan is probably pretty warm so we're going to put in the peppers. And we just want to cook these a little bit. Like I like my vegetables a little on the al dente side. So you cook them, it says two to three minutes. This little pan has become one of my favorite pans. Like I have never really used it much before, but now that I'm cooking just for myself, um, it's a nice little size and it's copper lined. It's nice, works well for this. So, after we cook this for a few minutes, the next thing we add in is our peas. Okay, now that this is, has a chance to soften up, we have our shrimp. They've been washed and dried. And now we're gonna add, they have like a, a sesame ginger spice. So we're gonna put that in there. And we're going to just toss that around. That smells so good. And then we're going to add that to this pan. Okay. 
There we go. And then we're just gonna cook this for a couple minutes. To change color, so now we add in our sauce. So here we have it. It's all ready. I'm going to try it. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And it's like a really great portion. And there's so much left over. There's definitely two meals here for sure. So yeah, try this one out. It is the orange sesame shrimp. You're not going to be disappointed.